Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to add a product to the Typo3 e-commerce module called TT Products. You can see on the screen we're looking at AllergyCanada.com's website, and this is their category called Standard, Standard Mattress and Pillow and Casings, and a list of the products in that category. If I click on the details for one of these products, I'll get more information about a product. Uh, if I want to edit or add to this product list, what I need to do is I need to log into the back end. And I've already done that, so I'm just going to switch over here. And I'm going to click on page so I can see my page tree. And we have a folder actually called products. That's where all the products are stored. If I click on that folder, now it's a listing of products. So it's going to say to see these, you got to switch to list view. And I'm going to do that. Now you can see we have products and product categories. Only 20 products are being shown at a time. If I click this plus sign next to the title, it's actually going to show me 100 at a time. We've only got 80 some odd on this site, so we're going to see them all. Now, to edit one of these products, and let's go and find one in the standard, standard mattress and pillow and casings, um, all I need to do is click this edit pencil. By the way, if you don't have these icons or the categories showing up, there will be another video shortly showing how to do that. So clicking that edit pencil, takes me into the product record. And here I have all the information about the product. Uh, now there's many fields available. Not all are used on all sites. Um, but here is what we have. We have the name of the product. This is the double 12 inch mattress and casing. Subtitle is like a short description and I don't think we're using them on these sites. This site. Uh, we have the category the product belongs to. You could select another category if you wanted to. Um, we have the price of the product. Uh, a weight and a unit factor, and these are not used on this site at this time. And then we have the description field, and this is a rich text editor field, like what you have in Word or a word processor or an email program. You can bold and italicize text, and you can do all the uh, formatting that you need to do. Although generally we set up the site that it doesn't need much formatting, you do have that option. Um, then we have a field where you can have a describing page. So. If there is a page that contains information that might be related to this product, you can actually link it. And that's done by clicking on this folder here, Browse for Records, which will actually pop up the page tree. And I could pick one of the pages from the website. Maybe it's the Dust Mites page or whatever. Don't need that right now, so I'm going to close it. Uh, we have the image field. And as anywhere else in Typo3, you can upload images either by browsing and picking them off of your computer or by clicking the uh, Image Browser button and picking them from the images that are loaded on the server. Uh, so if I were to grab one of these, for instance, it sort of pops it in the box there. If I want to get rid of them, I just click on it and hit the X button and it's gone. Um, and then we have start and stop dates. Um, if I set a start date of, say, next, the beginning of next month, the product's not actually going to show up on the site until that time hits. And if I hit a stop date, the product will disappear from the site after that time hits. Uh, there's also access here where you can control different groups of people get access to different products. But we'll not go into that now. There are some other tabs uh, which contain other fields. None of them are actually used on this site, but you can specify shipping information. You can specify relating to other products and even variants like colors and sizes, etc. Uh, so that's how you would edit a product. So you'd make your changes and you'd hit the save button or save and close perhaps. Uh, let me just close because I don't want to save any change I might have just made. To create a new product, I can do two things. I can click this icon here, which is the new record, and what it will do is it will give me a completely blank product record, and then I can enter in all the information I want. Another handy way, though, is to maybe copy an existing. So if I were to copy this double 12-inch mattress encasing using this button here, which is the copy button, when I do that, I get a paste button showing up. So if I click paste, it's going to say, do I want to copy it? And I'm going to say yes, or actually I said OK. And now we have... Uh, can't quite see it in this view, but this one here, you can see I've got the three dots after it, which if I hover over it, tells me double 12 inch mattress encasing copy one. That's my copy. So then I could go and I could edit it and make any changes that I want to make and then uh, save it and we'd have our new product. No, I don't want this at all, so I'm actually going to hit my trash can here and say OK. And that new product has gone away. Um, our copy is on. We could paste again if we wanted to. So I'm just going to hit that button there and there, which will get rid of the copy. Um, so there you go. There's how you could um, edit an existing cop product, duplicate a product, or even create a new product. Thank you very much.